is up everyone? We're out here today on my favorite little mountain brook trout stream. So it's early fall. Um, as you can see, the leaves are starting to change, falling, you know, all that great stuff. It's a little chilly out here today. Um, hopefully, uh, the brook trout should be in the early stages of spawn, which means they'll be nice and colored up, um, but they won't be quite spawning yet. So the creek we're fishing today is a creek that, I don't know if you saw, if you, so um, if you saw my last video of Megan, this creek, I think the title was something about this creek being ruined. Um, yeah, it basically was. I mean, there was a big flood that came through. I think it washed away a lot of the good wood, which is creating a lot of good cover. Um, it just hasn't really been the same since, but um, we're giving it another shot today, giving it the benefit of a doubt um, that hopefully now that we're into the fall and that um, fish should be feeding a little bit more, be spawning, you know, hopefully um, we can still catch some fish out here today. But if not, we have another creek nearby we can um, go to as a backup plan, and uh, we're going to be catching fish today no matter what. So, Ooh, that was a bite. Very first pool, we already had a strike, so that's a great sign. Um, I'll show you what I'm using here in a second after I hopefully catch this fish, because it's really, really something how well it works. It's very effective. Yep, got him, very good, rookie. Um, we'll try to keep him somewhat in the water down there. Oh, he came off. Um, I guess I could have pulled him up over these rocks and landed him, but you know we're trying to be safe today and um, make sure we don't harm these fish, so you know, I don't really care. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm using. I have this like pink squirmy wormy. Um, it's a fly that I've always been hesitant to use just because it seems so stupid. And you know, I catch plenty of fish on something else. But you know, the last time I was at brook trout fishing earlier this week, you know, I noticed you know, they're not really eating the dry flies that well. The water was still kind of low. They were struggling to catch them on nymphs. You know, sort of a bad day. Then I was out here, uh, I was out with my friend and uh, I gave him one of these flies because he broke off whatever fly he was using. Um, he caught a bunch of fish really quick. I put one on, I caught like a solid seven and a half inch fish. And I was like, you know, maybe this fly, you know, I'll give it a shot. And I've been catching some great fish on it. So. Ooh, one just hit it really hard. I saw him come out and grab it. Not get him. He, that one, I mean, he did not really hold on to it for long. I don't even think he caught a piece of the hook. It was just off right away. Um, I think I'm getting quite a few bites actually, but it's kind of hard to tell if they're actually eating the whole thing or just sort of like nibbling at it. Well, no fish were caught in this first section. I had a handful of bites. Some of them looked like pretty nice fish, but we didn't we didn't land any of them. So we're gonna um, drive upstream, make a couple stops along the way at some of the better pools that are close to the road. Um, if we don't catch anything um, doing that, then we're just gonna head to um, another creek around here that I think I can get on some much better fishing. But, you know, I, I like this creek because I know there's still a couple big ones in here. I mean, this is where I caught my PB last fall. So I know there's some big brook trout in here. It's somewhat easier to catch them this time of year. So that's why I wanted to try this creek, but a little disappointing. One of the other reasons I like this creek a lot uh, is because the fish here are unusually colorful. Like, at the other creek that's, like, literally right next to this one, the fish are, like, really dull looking. And, you know, don't get me wrong, they're still pretty. I mean, they're brook trout. Uh, wild trout, they always look nice, but you know, compared to this creek where even like in the dead of winter and summer, the fish are still like bright orange, you know. Yeah, it's just way better here, and especially during the spawn, the fish are um, particularly good looking, but you know, that doesn't matter if the, um, the fish just aren't even here or we can't catch them. Um, but I mean, hopefully, out of this pool, I think it's still plenty deep, it could definitely hold some fish. So we'll get down in here and give this one a try. Oh, that might be a fish. Oh, that's definitely a fish. It's just whether or not it's a trout. I mean, that was such a weird bite. Could have just been like a chub or black nose dace, something like that. I mean, maybe I just haven't actually had consistent success of this creek in so long that I don't even believe that it could be a trout. I mean, on any other creek I would have thought that would have been a trout bite for sure, but you know, we'll cast in here again, see if we can't um, get another fish to come and grab it. Well, that does it for the first creek of the day. Once again, like completely skunked out here. <sighs> oh well. It's 
So hopefully we can turn it around to this next creek. We're going to start off in the upper section just because that's what we'll be um, arriving at first when we drive towards it. Um, we'll fish some good stuff all the way up to like the very like top of the creek where um, it literally like comes out of the mountain. Just fish all the way up there. Um, the water is up from the last time I fished it. Um, I did catch fish the last time, so yeah, definitely be great conditions for fishing it. And then the lower section, hopefully we can catch some bigger fish. We'll see how it goes. Um, I got a couple more hours to fish, so definitely plenty of time to turn this day around. All right, we're right here at the second creek of the day in the upper section. Hopefully we can turn it around really quick and um, catch a couple of fish. Still using, uh, that's not going to start getting snagged in a tree first cast, but yeah, we're using the same fly, same everything, just slightly different water. Oh, good fish. Uh, not that good, but it's a brookie and somehow we foul hooked him. I don't know how. I mean, I saw the bobber drop and then all of a sudden this fish was fighting. I guess that's why he felt um, like he was bigger than he was, but no, well, hopefully we can unhook this fish without causing too much harm. Well, here we are. First little brook trout of the day, probably on the um, four inch or so. We'll get this fish back in the water. Unfortunately, he was foul hooked, but you know, he tried to eat it anyway, so I'm going to count him. So one fish, you know, finally on the board. It wasn't a super big one, but it's better than nothing, I guess. So we'll keep fishing. Well, after all that, we've only landed one fish so far today. It's incredibly frustrating. We've been getting um, a lot of bites up here, including from some um, really nice fish, but just haven't been able to hook them or keep them hooked. So I think we're going to head down to the middle section of this creek, see if we can't do any better down there um, when there's just more more water flowing through the creeks and deeper pools, you know, stuff like that. Might make this a little easier, but yes, day is not going to plan. Um, at least we caught one fish, but you know, I didn't even hook that fish in the mouth. It was literally foul hooked somehow. But I think when we get down um, to the lower section of this creek, um, things will change pretty quickly. We'll start catching some more fish. We finally make it to the lower section of the creek, um, which hopefully will hold a lot more fish. Um, well, maybe not hold a lot more fish, but just be easier to fish and actually offer some better opportunities to catch more fish. Um, the day has not gone very well so far, but I'm still enjoying being out here in the woods. You know, it's like a nice, comfortable 55 to 60 degrees out here. Um, barely any wind at all. It's sunny outside. It's just a great day uh, to be fishing, even if um, the fish aren't really bugging that well. But hopefully that will change when we get down here. Um, some really, really nice pools in this section, especially for this time of year. And I think um, we're definitely going to be catching some nice fish. Uh, first really good looking pool. Um, there's usually a couple big brookies in this pool, although they're kind of hard to catch for whatever reason. But they're in here and they might bite, so we'll give this a couple minutes just to see. You know, we're getting a lot of... Got them. There we go. Is this a chub or is it a brookie? That's the, that's the main question. And there is a creek chub. Damn it. There is a good fish though. Well, something's telling me creek chubs might be the only fish in this pool, so... We'll keep moving. We got plenty of water ahead of us, so we won't spend too much time here. Ooh, there's a fish down there that's biting. Of course we missed the hook section. You just cannot hook a fish today. It's so frustrating. And we missed him again. Got him. Very good, Grucky. Yes. Get in the net. Oh, we missed him. All right. Oh, missed him again. Okay, he's in the net now. Now, that was a disaster landing this fish, but damn, this is a good one. Um, probably over seven inches. Um, yeah, definitely over seven inches now to take a look at him. Next to very, very solid fish. Um, only second brookie of the day, but boy, is it a nice one. Take a look at the colors on that one. Such a pretty fish. He's probably a male. Um, just starting to get a spawning color, so we'll get him back in the water quickly and um, keep fishing.
There he goes. Wow. Well, that's going to be it for today. Um, only two brook trout, but uh, one of them was a really, really nice fish. And uh, we caught a couple creek chubs as well. We had a bunch of bikes. Um, it's just a beautiful fall day out here. You know, even though the fishing wasn't the best, I still had a great time out here. And, you know, luckily I was able to walk away with a couple of nice fish to show for it. Um, so, yeah, if you guys um, enjoy watching this video and you'd like to see more videos like this, um, brook trout fishing in the fall, because that's something I really like to do, then um, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.